Next, we will add user input elements to our Wix website. We will link these elements to the respective data fields in our database. In order to add the correct elements, I'm going to temporarily add a screenshot of the database to my Wix editor. This will give me a reference to what user input fields I will need to add. This is the screenshot of the database. First, we need to connect our website to the database. To do this, click on the data button at the bottom, click on add data elements, and then click on form data set. A little icon will appear over here in your Wix editor. However, the user will not be able to see this. This simply creates a connection to your database. To connect the database, click on settings, and then choose the database you're going to connect with. Make sure it's set to write only. So these fields are the ones that we want to connect user inputs to. The first field is simply a unique identifier. Numbers will be generated, and these numbers will provide a reference to the respective row on the database. We have a text field titled name. We will be using a text box user input for this. To add a text box user input, press add, go on to user input, and select the user input element at the top. We want to make sure that the input type is correct, so click on the user input box, click on set input type. We want the user input type to be text. As standard, the input type is text. The placeholder text is the title that the user will see. I'm going to change the title to name. Then we're going to want to connect this user input to our database field. To do so, click connect to data, choose the database that we want to connect to, and then choose the column that you want to connect to. So we want to connect to the column titled name. Next, we have a text field titled email. We will also be using a text box user input for this. I'm going to add another user input, I'm going to press add, user input, drag the input box at the top in again to the editor. We want to set input type, it's currently on text which is correct, and then I'm going to change the placeholder text to be titled email. To connect this user input to the database, I'm going to click on it, press connect to data, choose the correct database, and then choose the value this user input connects to, which will be email. We'll be using a number input for this. Press add, user input, drag the top one in again. Select input type, choose number from the drop down, and then I'm going to change the placeholder text to number. The next field is a date field titled date of birth. We'll be using a date user input for this. I'm going to press add, user input. I'm going to scroll down and choose a date picker user input. You can change your calendar settings by pressing set calendar. However, we want to connect this user input field to the correct field in the database. Click on connect to data, choose your data set again, and then choose the value it connects to. So this will connect to the date of birth field. Next, we have a Boolean field titled, do you like my videos? We'll be using a switch user input for this. To add a switch user input, press add, go on to user input, scroll down, and then you can choose one of these. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to drag it underneath, press settings, and then we're going to enter a value for switch. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to toggle this off by default, and I'm going to connect this to my database. Choose the data set, and then I'm going to select the do you like my videos column title. Second to last, we have a field titled what's your level of experience in coding. We'll be using a drop down user input for this. Going to press add, user input, scroll down to the drop down option over here, and I'm just going to choose the first one. To change the choices, press manage choices. I'm going to delete these. I'm going to add a choice. The first choice will be beginner. The second choice will be titled intermediate, and the third choice will be titled advanced. I'm then going to change the placeholder text, click on it, press settings. And then I'm going to rename the placeholder text to what is your level of experience in coding. And I'm going to connect this to my database. Choose the data set and then choose the correct field. What is your level of experience in coding? Finally, we have a number field titled how many days a week do you code? We will use a number slider input for this. To add a number slider input, press add, user input, scroll down to slider, just going to choose this one, press settings. We'll change the maximum value to seven. To change the title of the slider, click on it, press layout, 
and scroll down to suffix. You can change it like that. I'm going to change this to days. And then finally, I'll connect the slider user input to the data set. And then it will be under how many days a week do you watch tutorials? I'm just going to make this form more clear by adding two small titles, one to the switch and one to the slider. So now we've added the two titles. We have now completed our form. To submit the data inputted into these input boxes, we will need to add a submit button to the bottom. When the user clicks on the submit button, any information that they input into these boxes will automatically be transferred into your database. To add a submit button, press add, go on to button, and then choose a button that you like the look of. Drag it into the editor. We can change the button text to submit, and then we can click on the connect to data icon, choose the data set, and then choose this link connects to submit. You can add submit messages, and then you can set what your website will do when the user has clicked on the submit button. So now when we publish our page and we scroll down to the form that we created and type in our information, So now we fill out our form and when we press submit, as you can see, this message has popped up. Your content has been submitted. Let's go back to the editor and go onto our database and we click on the live tab. We can see that we have successfully managed to input data into our database. Fantastic. So this concludes creating a database and adding user input forms, which will add information into your database fields. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are interested in joining Wix Premium, please do click on the link in the video description below. It tells Wix that you joined through me and really does help me out a lot. If you would like to see more tutorials on Wix, check out my YouTube channel as I have quite a few videos on there. And please do subscribe if you like them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.